Hello ladies and gentlemen, I'm Joseph Novichkov, Senior Trading Manager with GDM. Today's outlook, as usual, we're starting with uh, Asian stocks. They put up a mixed performance on Monday as traders. Digested a slew of Chinese data released over the weekend and of course uh, read cautiously ahead of the Federal Reserve's meeting this week. Growth in China's uh, fixed asset investment and of course industrial production was um, uh, amidst ex uh, expectations in August. That was a data from the National Bureau of Statistics that showed on Sunday, suggesting further cooling in the world's second biggest economy that will likely prompt the government to roll out some more support measures. Retail sales were the lone positive uh, sur surprise growing 10.8% in August from a year earlier, above forecasts of 10.5%. Nikkei 225 index uh, drops uh, with 1.6%, reversing a higher open, taking its cue from a side in China's shares and, of course, as uh, telecommunications uh, shares plunged. Meanwhile, the Bank of Japan kickstarts its two day policy meeting. Analysts are expecting the central bank to maintain its uh, ex expansionary monetary policy. Though signs of persisting weakness in the economy are driving some market speculations for further easing. Against the yen, we're looking at the greenback that was sluggish at uh, 120.5. 65 yen per dollar. European markets opened higher on Monday as investors await the results of US Federal Reserve's interest rate decision this week on a Thursday. Meanwhile, the euro got off to a slow start on Monday versus the dollar, with investors sticking to the sidelines as the countdown begins on whether the Federal Reserve will hike rates for the first time in nearly a decade. Also, uh, the euro stood little changed at 1.1342 versus the dollar holding on to last week's 1.8% gain. Britain's inflation rate probably returned to zero in August, pushed down by a slump in oil prices that the Bank of England says is creating uncertainty about the outlook. Forecasts that prices uh, stagnated uh, last month after a 0.1% annual increase in July. The data on Tuesday in London will also probably show that the core rate, which strips out volatile energy and food costs, eased to 1% from 1.2%. The pound, meanwhile, is flat against the dollar at 1.5450. Gold in the commodity sector extending losses on Monday to trade near its lowest in a month as investors awaited for the Federal Reserve policy meeting later this week for clarity on when the US central bank will hike interest rates. Gold had dropped two tenths of a percent to 1105.40 an ounce in Asian trade after losing three tenths of a percent on Friday, and the metal had fallen to uh, 1098.35 in the previous session, its lowest since August 11. In the energy cycle, oil, oil prices dipped on Monday as weakening demand weighed on the international markets, although US futures received some support from the reduced American drilling. US crude futures dipped 5% Ascent to 44.58 a barrel, supported by a slight fall in drill activity. Uh, the US uh, oil rig count fell 10 to 652 last week, the second straight monthly drop. While, of course, the International Energy uh, Agency said on Friday a cut in production from non OPEC suppliers, especially the US, the, the United States, would lead to rebalancing of the market by next year. That's all for today. No major fundamental news. Stay tuned. Thank you for watching. See you next time.